Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX Mate. Today we are going to learn how to create a cool loading animation using the motion plugin and we will be continuing our series on the motion plugin which we started in the last video. So yes let's get started with it and uh, if you haven't checked that previous video make sure you watch it because in that video we have talked about how to create or you know how to load the plugin how to create the basic keyframes how to add animations in that and how to export the animations into an gif image so today we'll be taking a next step and today we'll be creating a simple loading animation using motion ui plugin and uh, we'll be exporting that animation so yes without any further delay let's jump into the figma and get started with it well before that make sure you have already subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon because if you're not doing that then you're going to miss a lot of exciting design content so yes i'll create a quick circle or a ellipse okay and this is going to be my background okay so i'll just create an arc first of all and let's just create a sweep maybe you know somewhere around uh, 75 percent okay and let's make it a complete you know 100% swept circle so we'll be just having you know the borders of the circle okay now let's change the color maybe something like black or uh, it, it is up to you uh, which color you want okay now I'll just close the plugin for now and I'll just first focus on the design part of this so let's align this to the center of the screen okay now we need a uh, another ellipse which is going to be basically our uh, rotating object right this is going to be static background so i'll just rename this bg okay now i'll duplicate this and i'll say anim layer okay i'll change color first of all because uh, it would be you know difficult to let's use some sort of green here And now then let's change the sweep of this. Okay, I would say 0% uh, to get started with, okay? And we'd be animating the sweep of the circle. Uh, that is, you know, not possible in Figma uh, Smart Animate, but yes, this plugin allows that. So let's close this, okay? And now let's uh, hit Command P to open the <coughs> quick search bar and select the motion plugin okay now select the anim layer and make sure you know you have selected the anim layer because then only it will show you the uh, properties for the anim layer or else it will show you for the selected layer so make sure you are selecting your layer in the layers panel of the figma then it shows your layer in the motion uh, in the you know motion plugins interface okay so as we want to animate the sweep or you know the curve uh, of the circle or the ellipse then you know you have to scroll down and look for this uh, arc property which you can you know basically edit so now let's set a keyframe for the default okay that is going to be zero right and then let's go to maybe somewhere around one second where you know we'll be completing our loading animation and i'll just make it a hundred percent sweep and then I'll add another keyframe okay now let's taste if this animation is working uh, it seems it is working I'll just play it on a loop okay now it is working as expected now let's you know uh, pick this animation a little bit and probably change the timing curves to make it you know uh, more a good looking or an appealing animation okay I'll select both of the keyframes okay and then uh, I'll change you know the graph which probably you know easy knees out okay and now let's just test this animation again okay uh, now we are not uh, easily seeing the changes earlier it was very linear and you know very static kind of behavior now it is a bit easy in ease out and a smooth uh, behavior so let's just you know make it a bit customization here and then you know adjust the timings a little further I'll just make this curve more you know deep okay uh, looks good now I'll select the last keyframe and I'll just you know uh, adjust this curve a little bit just to you know uh, if you want to give that bouncy effect. Okay. 
yeah so this animation looks good now let's quickly export this animation i'll just you know close this uh no i'll not close this i need that uh but you know uh, i'll add a little bit pause as well uh, just to make sure you know uh the animation is kind of sticking for a couple of frames so let's go somewhere around you know half a second or uh yep half a second let's let's do it half a second and then add a keyframe so now it will you know animate and pause for a while and then it restart the animation okay so yes it is uh working as expected now let me just uh deselect everything let me select the layer which i want to export uh basically you should be having a frame uh you know in this let's do a frame selection and now you you should be exporting this frame now i'll just export this frame into ngif and i'll say uh total animation and the duration of you know uh, 1x i don't want a slower or a faster animation so i can you know change that from here Uh, this is asking me the frame okay i'll s- have selected all this frame so it will export that and then i need a 24 uh, fps okay do you want to repeat it yes i want to repeat it i won't say repeat and pause because we have already added the pause uh, in the animation itself okay and then uh, do you want a best quality or a high quality uh, let's select the best quality this repeat thing is basically guys if you want to you know uh, repeat your gif animation on a loop then you should be selecting this but if you want to do it programmatically then you can keep it you know no repeat and then you can do it uh, using the javascript or jquery or angular or any other languages where you know you can uh, modify the play and pause of the gif image uh, run time in the browser okay so uh, as of now we are just doing a demo so let's do it uh, with the repeat okay and now let's just export this so it is taking the frames uploading to the server and then uh, rendering the animation and downloading it back to us and it is done i'll just make it load animation and i'll say save yes so now you can see you know uh, this animation is uh, rendered and it is you know uh, working as expected Yes so I hope you have enjoyed this video make sure you know you watch uh, the entire video of the series because we'd be covering a lot of you know cool stuff about animation in Figma using motion plugin and uh, we'll be creating you know lots of funny stuff cool stuff uh, in our upcoming videos so make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it because that will keep you updated with all uh, future uploads and don't forget to you know hit that like button because that will motivate us to keep creating you know new content for you also if you have any doubts don't hesitate to put them in the comments we'll definitely try our best to to help you with the doubts you have so uh, first you need to ask okay to get it solved yeah and uh, last but not least keep watching keep learning keep designing stay healthy stay happy